Okay, this may be the last one that we have to do. So let's go through and look and see what we've got. And they give us a sample. And they want us to use upper and lower to convert whatever we've been given. So we receive sample. While sample is not done, print out lowercase plus result. What is result? All right. Well, let's go ahead and define what result is. Result is, and I'm going to take sample. going to convert it to a lowercase. Down here, okay, tab in, sample dot, upper. Okay, so if I run this, a string not ready converted the whole thing to upper converted the whole thing to lower now here's the catch there are built-in methods in Python and we've talked about it time and time again we've used them we've used the int method to convert a number to an integer or a string to an integer. We've used the float. We've used string. Um, we've used so many different built-in functions. This one is a string function. It only works with strings. We've created an instance of a string called sample. There's a class of code that is a string class. We create an instance of that class. So we have an object. It's a sample object. It's, it's an instance of a string. And we call it sample. It's a string. So now this string object that we've created called sample inherits all of the functionality that comes with that original string class that was written by somebody else. And what we get with it is a function that's a lower function. And if you take a string and you say, I want to run the lower function, it converts that string called sample into all lowercase, converts it into all uppercase if we use the upper function. And so it did that, and then we passed the result to this temporary holding that we got called result. And we just used that in this output statement, uppercase result. I can go to Python website and look at all of the built-in functionality that's associated with so many of the things that we've used. There's so many more things that we can use. And we're going to deal with more and more as we keep moving on and get into the next few chapters. Now, we've gone beyond the scope of what they can do in this MindTap interface. But we're still going to do more outside of MindTap with the functionality in Python. Okay, So I'll 